Hi mga kababayan, magandang hapon po. Kayo po ay nanonood ng kauna-unahan at kaisa-isang pang-araw-araw na produksyon para sa ating mga kababayan dito sa Amerika. My name is Janelle Sawyer, kababayan in Los Angeles. And one of the goals of Kababayan LA is to enlighten, inform, and empower all of you. Today is a very important day, election in America. And they are saying that the Asian American vote could actually swing this um, election. Uh, we're going to be talking about that today on Kababayan LA with Melissa from Kaya. Hello and welcome to the show. Is this, have I, uh, have you been here before? Is, yes, yes, I do okay. work for a state senator. And he's right. filmed here. So, so excited to talk to you today about Kaya. Mm -hmm. And also uh, Ben Nate. Hello and welcome yes. to the show. Thank you. You have the numbers for us. Yes, and the numbers. <laughs> Mary Lee is with Kaya as well. We're going to be talking to Mary Lee as well today on the show. And uh, later on, Ronnie Ligo, editor-in-chief of uh, Weekend Balita, is going to be joining us via Skype. Uh, First, Ben, the numbers. Tell us about the involvement of Asian Americans or Filipino Americans in this election. Uh, just a, a few numbers. Asian Pacific Americans are the third largest uh, ethnic group in the state behind Latinos and um, uh, white folks. And uh, with this, we have about 1.2 million registered APA voters in the state. And you're so talking about the Asian American community. Asian, yes. Do we have any specific numbers uh, about Filipinos or yes. Filipino voters? Yes, yes, we do. Within the, within the Asian community, we have a few subgroups. And within those subgroups, is a Filipino American community and in the in the in this Asian subgroup the Filipino number of Filipino American voters are in Los Angeles County are close to uh, about 40,000 mm -hmm. that are registered voters is that good enough and are all registered voters do they all vote um, likely voters are different from registered voters so um, in in the political numbers most likely voters are voters who voted in four of the last four elections mm -hmm. so just because you're registered a uh, registered voter doesn't mean you're a likely voter mm -hmm. your thoughts on that uh, Melissa just Filipino engagement in politics here in the US well it varies from what city you live in or uh, like for instance in Los Angeles um, it's we're a community that's growing. It's more of a co coalition base, and so we advocate on our issues because we all have share the same values and issues. Um, in terms of the Filipino Americans, um, it is quite. It's a little bit harder as as in, as opposed to D.C. or San Francisco to get our community to get out the vote is because we're spread out. Our communities are spread out in L.A. County. So um, it's been a little bit hard for Kaya to start in itself, uh, but definitely uh, we're in route to do that. Kaya is an organization that aims to empower and inform our Cabo Bayans uh, with political issues. Can you expound more on what Kaya is and what Kaya stands for? Uh, well, we do have three targets, which is two empower the Filipino community to get leaders to, to get into positions that you know will benefit the Filipino community um, to advocate issues that are affecting our community and also the Filipino community specifically um, and then also to just partner with different um, commun different community leaders different political partnerships anything like that so that we can kind of move forward with whatever issues are you know, affecting. And that is good. Definitely quite ambitious as well because as you said, it's not easy because we're spread out. But then at the same time, I want to zero in on what you said, uh, Melissa, about shared values. Do Filipinos sh have shared values? Does the Filipino community have shared values? Because basing on my opinion, when I interview people, a lot of the Filipino immigrants tend to vote a certain way. A lot of the Filipino Americans or those that were born and raised here tend to vote a certain way. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, it's, it's true to a certain degree. Uh, we have a lot of shared values as the majority of our, our community are come from immigrant families. You know, whether we're first generation immigrants, first of all, first generation, second generation, generation or even third generation, uh, we vote a certain way. But in our community, uh, in the Asian Pacific American community as a whole, about a third register to decline a state, mm -hmm. which is kind of the independent vote, um, a third uh, register Republican, a third register Democrat. Mm -hmm. So we are the swing vote, if, if you want to say it that way. Um, and how important is our vote in this particular election? It's critical. Mm -hmm. um, if we don't vote, it's simple. If we don't vote, our voice won't be heard. Mm -hmm. So that's just as simple as it is. We can't advocate for candidates or certain issues if we're not voting. Mm -hmm. We're not at the table being stakeholder. Marilee, what do you think are the biggest issues uh, in our community and that, that should drive us to vote? Um, well, a lot of Immigration, things, I'm thinking. Yeah, I was yeah. about to say, I think the direct impact, I believe, is immigration. And I don't know, if, um, I think 
what's restricting us is a lot of people aren't informed about what they can do and what the issues are at play and kind of how you know the decision that you make in this election is going to affect the next couple of years because it is your family that you know you are you know directly either supporting abroad or you know trying to bring in and so at least immigration i believe is a strong play but it, you know it's not the only thing especially you know with the economy there's you know most filipino americans are middle income uh, families and so i don't know if they really understand as well um how how bad how you know their decision is going to impact how much you know they, is it a question of uh, do they understand versus a question of do they care <laughs> Yeah. That, that's a great, great point. Um, I think a lot of folks in our community uh, understand it, you know, to a certain degree. But a lot of us don't care because, you know what, hey, you know what, I want to get my family set up first. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, then I'll take care of my community. But that's opposite of what I think we should be doing. And that is why I think I mentioned earlier Filipino immigrants tend to have a certain perspective as opposed to those who were born and raised here. Although some uh, Kababayans care enough to even run for office. We're going to be talking about them when we return on the show. Don't go away.